Hello, this is M Special. How are we doing? I say, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, according to your time zone, wherever you are. This is M Special, a Biafra agitating for Biafra freedom, talking about Africa in general. Today, I have a very happy news. Ethiopia has cancelled the privatization of East Telecom. Yes, we are there. We are going forward. Africa is getting it right. Kudos to Ethiopia for this news. I am so excited. And when I saw it, I was marveled and happy because it shows me that some African leaders have started thinking Africa. What happened? You know Ethiopia, that their language dominates any other foreign languages. In fact, the official language of Ethiopia is their own Ethiopian language. It's Ethiopia and Tanzania. We are um, Swahili is the official language. And their president, though the Tanzanian president, my Magufuli, I call him my president, although I'm not a Tanzanian, I'm a Biafran, but I call him my president because he is really riding on African platform, which I am so happy he represents and we all have to represent. As educated as he is, he still uses Swahili to speak wherever he is. That will show you the power of the people when you know who you are. Whether he is in the United Nations, whether he is in his own country, whether outside, he has to speak and he always uses his own language and they will translate it to themselves. It, they never tell him to walk out because he's speaking his language. That is exactly what I'm telling you. That if we, the Africans, know who we are, they will be afraid of us. But as far as we lack to know who we are, we will continue to be their puppies and they will continue to push us wherever they wish us. But today, I want to tell you that the Ethiopian government has cancelled every plan they have for privatizing their telecommunication. This was after a musician was taken out, I mean killed, and it caused a chaos in Ethiopia, and they accused Egypt for having a foreign finger in it. And you know that Ethiopian telecom is one of the biggest telecom in Africa, and their economy is being watched closely to become one of the biggest in the world in the near future. And you know that the telecommunication is very, very important because it's through the telecommunication that internet and all the communications go through. So Ethiopia canceling the privatization of their own telecommunication which they run with their own indigenous language, which has made it very difficult for the foreign people to penetrate into their matter or to hijack or to, to, to scam or to investigate or to plan evil against Ethiopia because that's what has been their work in Africa. When we are growing, because they hear, because they make us dominate their own language and adopt their own way and that their own technology, they hear everything. We have no secrets before them. But we are Africans. We know how our forefathers live. And that's exactly what I am itching to see back in Africa. Because a true African man, when you call him a stupid man, he goes back and watch and know why you call him a stupid man. When he comes back, he changes that narrative to your confusion. That is the Africa I want to see. And that is exactly what Ethiopia has started doing with this saying no for privatization of their own telecom. Yes, there are foreign bodies hand into the telecom, like French and others, but they have not had any stand because it's Ethiopia have not given them any license on that, okay? And even if they do, even when they will have it, they still need the assistance of Ethiopians because the language is being spoken in their own mother tongue, Ethiopian language. With this, it's a very good news. Big security for Ethiopia as a country. And I say, this is exactly what I call for. 
to be duplicated all around Africa. Let us have our own narrative. Let us speak our languages. It's not when you hear my language you know what I'm talking about. We can all hear yes now. So it's left for us to develop our own. And on developing that our own, we can now change our narratives. They also will learn our own. Yes, of course, there is always open door for anyone that wishes to learn. Why not? But then, it will make us original. And it will give us upper hand to talk about, about ourselves. And not to have a listening ear and be the actor. We now be the boss when it comes to matter affecting Africa. Tell me what you think. Do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to share this video. When you watch this video, bring forth your comment. Because mine is to deliberate and yours is to bring the final conclusion. What do you think about this video? What do you think about Ethiopia shutting down their telecom against foreigners and saying no to privatization to foreigners, foreign countries? What do you think about that? Do you think it's a big step ahead for Ethiopia and that if other countries of Africa should adapt that, that is going to be wonderful for our continent. Thank you until we see in the next video.